Hey guys, is that tech stuff here? We are back finally for my spring 2013 setup video. And by request, I know a lot of you want to know what desk I have. So at the end of the video, I will tell you what I have to kill the curiosity. And it's very, very easy to know. So to start it all off, we have here my Logitech G27 steering wheel. Love this thing. I use it all the time for my racing games. You want to know more? Descriptions in the video below. Um, another thing though I like about it that I still like I find the use is that the macros are kind of easy to remember so I use them all for the same thing need for speed here we have my Dell 24 inch LED monitor that has HDMI DVI VGA um, I can hook computer speakers to it it is great it's a 2011 series or S series they call it on Dell and sadly they don't make them anymore and we have my 37 inch insignia LCD TV I've had since about 2009 and uh, I gotta get a new one soon because it has MW2 smoke kind of burn marks from the main menu here's like the wall mount I have for it and you can actually see it's bending a bit and um, it's only held together by four bolts I think maybe three because the one is a little loose yeah this one's loose a bit and that's only because the behind the wall there's not really anything holding the wall mount in besides the drywall itself which is not the greatest thing but the wall mount was only about 60 bucks so and you can actually see just a bit there that it's all uneven because of the weight it's being held by but it does what it needs to do for now anyways here we have my GTA 4 and episodes from Libby City Stories poster. Hope you guys enjoy this poster. I just gave you guys a little extra long time. Um, I did take my MW3 down, my MW3 poster down for a bit, and I'll put it back up soon. I'll show you guys my new setup in that. So here we have my Asus 24-inch monitor. So I have now three monitors all hooked up, hopefully to get a new graphics card and do all four. So there you go, the Asus, kind of hard to see. I'm recording with my iPhone 5. So right now I have iTunes up. I'll just minimize it for you guys. And there you go, you see the whole, whole setup there. And then that monitor is strictly just for Xbox. And my webcam just up top. Um, also, the Xbox monitor stri um, is like, I can't run Netflix off of, off of it because of my Elgato, so I have to switch out HDMI cables, which I'll show you in a bit. So here we have my Blue Yeti microphone, which I'm actually recording with right now, and this microphone is great. The quality is amazing, the feel of it, the sound I get back from it, very easy to use, one cord to plug it in. Next, we have my iPad mini just bought this thing I'll have a unboxing video of it very shortly and um, I use this for Netflix too so it fits right there perfectly it doesn't get in the way of when I'm doing games so I could just slap Netflix on I've been watching boondocks while I've been like doing Xbox computer games so it's it's the greatest thing to have right now and that's basically what I use it for is like books Netflix and of course extra storage space other than my iPhone because it's only 16 gig so another thing also is I uh, don't mind the top 10 for I just from Disney movies I watched so that is also the same Dell monitor as it is for the Xbox and um, it's great for like school projects where you have like Internet Explorer up on your main screen or sorry your Word document on the main screen and then your uh, information on the right so next we have my three steel bookcases MW3, Assassin's Creed 3, and Black Ops 2, which I got I got the Assassin's Creed 3 one for free for pre-ordering Black Flag. Next, we have my Yamaha Surround Sound 5.1, and um, the subwoofer on this thing is insane. I got this as a Christmas gift uh, two years ago, and this thing just runs phenomenal. And if I hit this power button, I have it hooked up to an HDMI cable on my monitor, and it shuts shuts off the main monitor and then when you turn it back on it refreshes all the monitors so it's kind of cool having like 
all these HDMI cables hooked up to my computer and surround sound system and all that stuff. Next we have my guest watch that I use mainly for work or when I'm going out somewhere and I kind of want to look nice, you know? And it's got like this alligator leather look to it, I don't know. My 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 Minecraft redstone light up or I have a video on that. Video will also be in the description and also I ordered a case from there too so you guys will see an iPhone case there from there how good it is all that stuff if you're curious next we have my Alienware I've got everything upgraded almost and um, well I put in new RAM and an SSD so I'm getting there to upgrading almost everything so oh, don't mind all my finger slips and here are my Xbox games um, I'm you guys can go ahead and pause the video I'm not gonna list off everything I have um, notes I have the foot pedals and all that for my Logitech G27 steering wheel. Yes, I like using names because who knows, maybe some retard will think, oh, where are those pedals go to? And then we have the power bar or power th supply for the Xbox. And it has my Yamaha surround sound on the right there, my Xbox cores. And that Apocalypse mask is an MLG case for my Xbox that I used to have on it, but it kind of kills the power but it's also a cool light up feature it does red and blue and next we have this HDMI cable um, the thing is that Netflix will not run because of my Elgato hooked up to the monitor so if I ever want to watch Netflix I have to switch the HDMI cable so that the Xbox goes to the TV and that way it gives me like I can also watch it on the TV which is a bit better than watching it just on a, a small monitor even though the TV is again from 2009 so the pixels on that isn't the greatest but you know I still get the enjoyment of watching movies so here we have my Alienware Tactex keyboard as well and of course I got a pen because <laughs> I'm, I'm in school so I'm doing school work here and there obviously and I have my RAT MMO7 mouse lit up blue as well to kind of go with the whole blue theme as along with my mon uh, not monitor, computer. Um, munchies, Doritos, you know, toilet paper, because I sneeze, there's a lot of dust. You can, uh, you can obviously see all the dust, old phone case. And these are pro photographer magazines that my grandfather brought for me today. Um, I'm like since I've been taking the course in school I've kind of gotten into it so I'm like really reading up on everything so these are just from last year so they're fairly recent as well and um, and uh, here these are just a couple shots I've taken as well this is one of my cousin and my grandfather also like edited like f did a Photoshop for these as well to make them look a bit better well I actually made them look a lot better I should say sorry so there's that one there she's just kind of staring at the window self-explanatory i'll just let you guys watch this and i'll stay silent oh yeah and this is my camera it's a canon rebel xs with a tamron large zoom lens if uh <laughs> you guys want to know what that was also This is also um, a ship that's out in Grimsby on your way to Niagara. You see off the highway. Um, as a kid, every time I go to Niagara, you see yell out uh, pirate ship. So it was kind of cool to go down there and use the Tamron lens and get all these shots. So um, this is like the whole ship. I use the reflective surface on the other one with the water. This is um, not too far from my house, just out in like the country with the moonlight. And this is a Toronto shot I got also from Grimsby with the zoom lens. And this is about like three three or four shots put together. Um, my grandfather edited, like, did the whole Photoshop on this one, overlaying them, bringing the brightness out. 
so it was kind of cool um i have an image as well printed in my drawer that i'll show you guys in a bit but this thing turned out really good and you'll really notice that the difference from photoshop to original photos when i get there um i have my ipad mini screen protector my uh, ear pods that are broken as well um, little souvenir things I have an extra SD card Imagine Dragon concert tickets that is coming up in the summer and both pre-orders for Assassin's Creed and GTA 5 which I am excited for all my hockey stuff are up, is up on this wall as long as with the, the Sammy Joe Small autograph that my mom got me my Yamaha subwoofer um, a camera bag and a New York chest that holds all like my extra cables and stuff garbage yay next is my drawer unit that goes with the desk as well i'll give you the name at the end there and here we just have advil mr noodles in case i get hungry um pens pencils highlighters calculator and some nano dots i get bored a lot so i just kind of play around with those and some receipts from purchases like my ipad mini big purchases and that's something my girlfriend just made me as well my Xbox drawer that I use strictly for everything. Don't use that intercooler on your Xbox either. It really drains like the power on it and it makes it run a bit slower because it's trying to power this fan. It does help keep it cool, but it does take the power out of it. A couple battery packs. If any of you want this Halo Reach, send me a message and I'll, I'll give you the code for it because I have my own. I've got two copies now. My GoPro kind of drawer... Next, we have just uh, a couple CDs, batteries, photos in the back, a Corel 2 gigabyte um, USB and a 32 gigabyte SanDisk USB, and just a couple of uh, photo paper. And here's um, the Toronto shot. It's just a, a duck. So there you go. There's the original shot I took of Toronto with the lens, and then... When he took it into Photoshop, he went from that, sorry, the light there, he went from that to that, which is crazy. So we have my Cyborg extra mouse parts and weights, rechargeable batteries, Elite Founder stuff, my more i have more paper of course call of duty guide and skateboarding magazines and Th think geek return policies because i keep my documents of everything that i do and in the last drawer we have all my computer cables which i have like three extra or four extra dvi cables vga cables hdmi cables i've got every cable that you can think of oh look these bugs are infesting my house. Not to get off topic, but these things are all over my house. They annoy the hell out of me. They're like called maple bugs or something. They're completely harmless, but to get off topic there. We have my Epson Workforce 630 printer that I use to print all my photos and all my school projects. One of my Yamaha rear speakers. My Yup Delight Mood Light. I've got it on alternated changing colors. And a dinosaur that my girlfriend got me as um, an inside joke. And some iron, or not iron, but like a metal hockey player statue that I got for Christmas one year. Because I am just obsessed with hockey. As you can tell, Red Wings is my team. And that is my uh, tripod that I use for a lot of recording of my videos. And my hat rack, and some of them are taken down because I was cleaning them. Um, a dusting mitt, Pac-Man costume. I've been crashing on the couch um, lately just because it's a bit cooler than upstairs in my room. Um, Xbox controller. And here we have my GoPro. And unfortunately, I think the battery died on this thing. So unfortunately, I may have to go buy a new lithium battery for it because you can see I'm trying to turn this thing on. is It's got no juice left in it, basically. Guitar Hero stuff, my 
iPad mini, Thunderbolt charger, and all of my boxes I keep. Well, at least ones that are worth keeping. So we have like my iPad mini box right there, my Minecraft box. Um, I have this Call of Duty dog tag from the Best Buy Midnight release for Black Ops 2, along with this patch here. And I also got a free poster, my GoPro box. And my Alienware box. And my Diamond Shoe box and Yeti box. All boxes, love boxes. I collect them of stuff that I buy. Also, I have my paintball stuff kind of hidden away for over the winter because I didn't want to tempt myself to go in the freezing cold. So, you guys want to know what desk I have? It is the Vika Alex Vika Amon series from IKEA. Simplest thing to know, it was very easy to put together. I'll have a video for me doing a speed put up and all that stuff of me putting it together. And this is also a photo that my grandfather did. He went to uh, Windsor and took a shot of the Detroit skyline there. And the reflection in the water wasn't there. He did all that in Photoshop. He uh, kind of flipped the image, softened it a bit, and got rid of all the waves in the water. And this was, I think this is like two different shots as well taken. So all my posters that will be taken down soon and putting up my gaming posters and kind of like a skateboarding corner I have. So that is basically it. Um, in my chair, um, I have to use a pillow because my fat ass has basically eliminated the cushion. But again, Vika Mall, Vika Alex series from Ikea cost me about $500, $450 for everything, the legs, the drawer unit, and the two tabletops. So this desk is really good, very spacious. And also, one of you asked where I got this lamp? Walmart, 14 bucks. go grab it, good investment. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Adios.